stream! We are going to be trying out Inspector Waffles today. I am pretty excited about this. It's a pixelated button click adventure game. Just something a little different. And it's it's a it's a <laughs> Hello! Hello, Bork. Welcome, welcome. It's it's a game about anthropomorphic animals and the cat detective. I mean, come on. Come on. How can you go wrong? Alright. Let's get into it. New game. Oh yeah. Let's see. By default, hints and clues in the dialogue are highlighted in yellow to make interactions and puzzle solving a little more intuitive. If you like a more challenging experience, you can disable this feature. Uh, yeah, we'll take the extra clues so that we're not stalling for too long. Because I'm, I'm not, I'll admit, I'm not the smartest bean. I'm the smartest bean in the basket. But okay. I'll take the hints. Why not? <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Why so sad, sir? Sir? Patches? Uh oh. Patches is patched in. Oh. God, I can't click off. <laughs> oh, hello. Sassy mama. You're looking schnazzy. Urgent? Hey, stop being a depressed bean. You have a message. Answer your own damn phone next time, jeez. What's wrong with you? Uh, sometimes it takes a minute for it to push. And I think stream cord might be a little borked. Oh. That's okay. Inspector Waffle. Ba -da -da -da. Also, that big menacing uh, building in the background with the M. Why do I have a feeling that's like the bad guy tower? <laughs> The dead and alive cat. Are we talking about Schrodinger's cat? Midnight in Cat Town. I'm heading to a new crime scene. Oh, that's a hint. Tin, it's yellow. Why do I still do this job? Because you're an inspector. I could be anywhere right now. Chilling on the beach, sipping a pina colada. I mean, if you have that kind of money, I guess. But, like, you have to, you know, work to get money to do those things. But no, I'm out here working day and night for this town. I mean, who else is going to protect the town? My mother, she wanted me out of this life. A quiet office job with decent working hours. I should have listened. Mom's always right. The inspector life's a dangerous one. Yeah, but that makes it exciting. Like, who wants to sit at a desk for the rest of their life punching numbers on a computer? Not me! But if there's one thing I like more than strong milk... STRONK! <laughs> Mysteries. Then why are you even second guessing yourself there, sir? Pardon me while I pat my nose. <laughs> Inspector Waffles! Is that a clue? That's also in yellow. On the scene and looking like a stray cat as usual. <laughs> oh, is that a dead body? Oh, no. oh. See? Maple. I have a feeling that they are bad guys. Just that big, you know, M. It's all menacing. <laughs> What's this? This is Inspector Waffles. It's a point-and-click adventure game. Very excited to be trying it out. My fault, Chief Patches. Right, I wasn't expecting to be working tonight. Tell me, who's the victim? Oh, there's a broken window up there. So this is made to look like a suicide, it seems, maybe. Sounds interesting. Indeed. I'm excited. His name was Fluffy, boss of... Box furniture. <laughs> oh, the boss of. Oh, I love their bosses! No! <laughs> oh, the corny. Don't we all want this? I mean, maybe the cats. I don't know about dogs. Dogs aren't in the boxes. So, did he off himself? Doubtful, but we can't rule it out at this stage. We've been waiting for you to sniff out the truth. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> giving me too much credit there, Chief. Did you see the lady cat at the front gate? No, they didn't give me that cutscene. No, <laughs> why? She's a friend of the victim. Came by earlier to see our dead friend here. Well, that's suspicious. That's weird. She rang his doorbell and nobody answered, but someone jumped over the fence and vanished into the dark. But there's a body 
Did she not see the body laying on the ground right there? Someone? She says she only saw a shadow. But she says whatever it was, it was big. Big old doggle. Dude. I'll have... Okay, I'll have to look around the house first. They're highlighting the weirdest stuff, but okay. Then we can chat with her once we're done. Okay, but there's a body on the ground. Did she not see that body when she went up to knock on the door and see that shadow? She was aware of the shadow, but not the body. Suspicious. No problem, take as long as you need. Though, we haven't been able to access the top. That's not good, because there was a broken window up there. We can't kick the door down. He's dead. He won't play. Not until we have clearance from the higher-ups. That's not how real life works. If you could find a way to get up there without damaging the property, that'd be great. That's not how real life works. You can't, don't forget, you have very valuable resource in your pocket. Valuable resource? You don't know what's in your own pockets, Waffles? Come on, maybe that milk is a little too strong. Yes, a brilliant ex-inspector, able to help you at any moment. I'm not asking my mother for help! Ah, so his mother was a, was a detective too, ah, I see. Yes, she was great, but I don't need her. I can solve this case all by myself. <laughs> well, if you change your mind, just check your notepad. She probably left one of her little notes. I would have to do that anymore. Mind you, she never listened to me before either. Anyway, I'm gonna head inside and have a look around. I mean, moms never listen. <laughs> All right. I, oh, I don't move, I just click. That's right. Can I go back out? Hmm, strange. The bottom floor is a bit small for a house as big as this. So that must mean that there's hidden rooms. Oh well, it doesn't really matter now. I need to focus on getting to the top floor. I kind of wanted to, like, Look around a little more for a second. Fluffy's body. This dead cat is the reason I'm here. Let's see if there's anything in his pockets. Polaroid picture. That's odd. Pat at the beach with a red lighthouse behind him. A red lighthouse. Interesting. No idea who this cat is. Maybe it's a clue? Uh -huh. A clue? Trash can. A cat searching through trash cans. I'm such a cliche. <laughs> Nothing special inside except for this broken screwdriver. Suspicious. Suspicious. Almost forgot, if you want to see more about an item in your inventory, you can right click on it. I don't know exactly what that means, but I bet it's useful for learning more. Uh-huh. Onyx. They may have taken the body out of the house after they got there since they have to clean up the body most of the time when doing cases. Also, hello. Hello. I mean, maybe, but like, typically you want to leave the scene alone until the inspector can get there and do their thing. Plus, with the broken window upstairs, it really looks like the body came out of that window. I mean, I could totally be wrong, but it's just a little sus. It's a little sus. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I can But if you're just picking up trash during your investigations, maybe not so much. <laughs> okay. House, patches, Fluffy's body. All of wool. Fluffy knew how to have fun. I'm not going to play with it, even if I really want to. Window. The victim fell from this window. Okay, there we go. If he hadn't been dead, he would have landed on his paws without any trouble. Okay, so he must have been dead before the window. I don't think he killed himself at all. Okay. Yeah, because I don't think that's really quite tall enough to, like, do the do. Maple Tower? Wait, I can- I can- wait. Maple is the most luxurious cat in town. He made his fortune in supermarkets of all things. He has a tower with his name on it. Clearly a humble cat. See? See? I told you it's a bad guy. Call it right now. Maple is a bad cat. Don't trust Maple. At all. I want it now. Okay, I think that's it. So now we can go in the house. Yeet the body. <laughs> Bust. Can't do anything with that. A bust! This is the first time I've ever seen one outside of a museum. Fancy, fancy. Okay, so he had... There's a hole in the mouth, but for what? I'm afraid if I get too close it'll spray poison at me or something. 
Okay, so maybe we can put something in the mouth. I have a feeling there's definitely secret rooms or something, because he said, oh, this is too small, you know, compared to the outside. And, you know, for, for a fancy cat, it sure has squeaky stairs. Black and white photos of Cat Town from almost a century ago. But I'm... They were starting to build skyscrapers. The city was booming. I wonder if these cats have enjoyed living here. If these cats would have enjoyed living here. Reach. I don't know where this bridge is located, but it seems to be a great place to live. Oh, fancy. Exhalated breeze. Cats suicide. Resistant? Cats are suicide resistant. <laughs> well, from jumping off of things, yes. Face. An old face. It looks very fragile. Let's break it. <laughs> kind of want to break it. I mean, I won't. But my animal instincts are kicking in pretty strong right now. <laughs> I wonder if I just clicked it over and over again if he would... Nah, no, it's just the same thing. If he would, like, be like, I can't, I can't, I have to. Figurine. This is a sculpture from a long time ago, probably 9th century. Southern Doggo, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Southern Doggo. Just call me Lara Crufts. Oh my god. <laughs> nah, just kidding. I know nothing about ar ar archaeology. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this guy seems like. Wait. Outside going downstairs? I mean, I guess that's just kind of weird. Um, so this fluffy guy seems to collect like old things, like the vase and the the figurehead and stuff. Oh, bathroom, letterbox. Oh my god, I'm not gonna check for clues in letterbox. I don't hate myself enough for that. Damn, perfume, a petite chaton Parisian, a lady's fragrance by Yves Chad. Laurent, so cliche. But why does he have it? Unless it was that lady friend. Why would Fluffy have a lady perfume? Someone else must have left it here. Perhaps it belongs to Fluffy's mother? Or that lady that was standing outside. New clue! Wow, hairbrush. No idea how to use this object? Excuse me? Do you not brush your fur, sir? That's nasty. Get it? There's a tile. A little hole in this tile. There's something on the other side. Maybe if I give it a hole? Aha! A hideout! <laughs> Interesting, it's a book. Why is there a book in here? Maps of... Pat... Patsak... Patsakistan? 18th century. What? I was interested in books like this. Yeah, this guy is definitely into some, like, old stuff. History. What have yous. Uh, okay. I think that's it right here. Found a book. That's the bathroom. I think I have cat hair. Be gone, foul beast! Let's go this way. Can't open this door. The handle is missing. Okay. Interesting. But, like, if the handle's missing, can't you just, like, put your finger in the hole and pull? Nice bedroom. Being rich definitely has its perks. Okay, so yeah, this guy is definitely, like, well off. Picture. Back in the day, Fluffy was quite an elegant cat. He was rich, classy, smart, but despite all that, alone. Actually, there aren't any pictures of his family or friends in this entire house. Huh. Maybe Fluffy wanted to forget something about his relatives? Oh, it came from a rough family background, I totally understand. Painting. Famous painting from Meow Grit. Wait, there's something odd about this frame. A hideout! That looks cool. <laughs> odd. Only a book here. Nothing of much value. The Great Catsby. Of course they would. I've never read it. Probably, I probably never will, but it was hidden, so I guess I should take it. Can I, like... I can. Oh. I can't read the books or anything? Oh, there we go. Okay. I thought maybe, like, I, if I, like, leafed through them, maybe there was a clue or something. Cup. Fluffy was a semi-pro wool ball player in his youth. Wool ball? Wool ball. Pun after pun. <laughs> yeah, Kat Zekistan. Oh my goodness. That explains the wool ball outside. Oh, wool ball. 
Yarn. Got it. Hmm. Interesting. There's a letter inside the cup. My tiger, I can't wait until the next time I hear your you roar tenderly, M. Hope he had a lady cat in his life. I should find out who she is. Mmm. <laughs> can't wait to hear you roar, daddy. <laughs> Very old skateboard. I think it was discarded here. One wheel seems to be broken. You gotta take it. I could find some use for You're gonna- a, a broken wheel? Okay. Yeah. I can't go in the cabinet or anything. There we go. Don't know any of his bands. Maybe I need to get out of my office from time to time. Yeah, yeah. That'd probably be helpful. Okay. So, oh, unless I'm gonna use the wheel to get in here. I use the wheel. Use wheel here. Or something to put on it. Broken screwdriver. Aha! And then wheel. I can't turn it, it's too slippery. And then wheel. Wheel. Yes. Ha ha! I am smart. I made a door handle. Now let's see what's behind the door. Oh. There you go. I did it without kicking the door down. Every rich guy has his own library. Oh my god, it's so true. Genius. It doesn't contain a single comic book. How dare! There's no class. Class is a popular book written by cats. One of the books is missing. Oh, it's a blue book! Blue book! Blue! Blue! Ha 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 wonder what happens if I put the book back in its rightful place. I heard a click, but nothing else happened. <laughs> and then there's a red book missing. Should I click on these? Well, oh, it's a world map collection. Oh! Empty space, yeah, okay, world maps. Uh, yep, right there. Oh, damn. A secret door. I wish I could afford to put one of these in my place. But why hide an access to the entire floor of your home? This is going to be really interesting. Uh-huh. Genius! Oh. Secret office. Why was he hiding in here? What was he hiding? Hiding in here. And that's probably the broken window. So that's broken window from outside, yeah. Someone pushed him through the window. Strength and glass? Whoever did this was very strong. Unless they broke it with something. And why would they push him through the window? It'd be like that, well... Yeah, because Lady Cat, you know... Bathroom. Oh, it's another bathroom. Okay, I see. Yep, one of my favorites. Too bad I don't know how to play the piano. <laughs> well, here's an extra bathroom. A squeaky floor. Oh, wait! This is how Fluffy would get to his office. What? Excuse me? Probably how the killer escaped, too. I have to tell Patches about this. Excuse me? Oh, there's like a- there's a staircase? Okay. Th this is a very oddly uh, laid out house here. Only a single piece of paper left. Mouse tails, duck grease, salmon. Fluffy clearly enjoyed good food. Oh, it's a grocery list. Why is there a grocery list pinned up in his office? Seems like something that should be in the kitchen. I don't like when I don't understand. I'm taking it with me. I didn't even see the kitchen. Well, cats need this for comfort. Most of us want to stay clean and healthy. I, on the other hand, just want a glass of strong milk. Strong milk. Couldn't be that a lady cat unless she's a world class weightlifter. I mean, yeah, but I feel like she might be an accomplice because body on ground and she just didn't see it. That's what weirds me out. Oh, there's blood. Oh, lucky break. There's a hair sticking to one of the blades of grass. Nice. Blood. Blood drops. Fluffy was probably dead before falling from the top floor. That explains why he didn't land on his paws. Sure, he was murdered. I still don't know the reason. Or really how either. No disc found. Everything is re was recently erased. Well, that sucks. Papers. Hmm. Something interesting here, buried amongst these papers. Someone's written, I can't keep hiding these two books every time. I would like a door that I can open electronically, quickly, and easily. Can you do that for me? Thanks. Fortunately, there is no delivery name or address. Broken glass. I haven't gotten time to start a puzzle on. Wasn't gonna put it back together. Plenty of useless papers. Bills, installation CDs, piano lessons, an insult letter. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Someone named Irwin sent this letter a week ago. And curiously, among 
all the other barbs a platypus? Platypus? I didn't know it could be used as an insult. Oh! <laughs> so they called him a platypus? The fuck? Okay. Well, we'll take a shortcut to the bathroom, I guess. That's why it. I guess one half dozen than the other. Um, I think that's pretty much everything in here. And there's nothing else that we can. There must be like kitchen and stuff, but I guess it's not. So there's a hole in the mouth. Um, do I have anything I can put? No. No. Can I get the screwdriver back? No. Love letter, grocery list, and salt letter. Oh, right. Yeah, I really can't do anything with that now. <laughs> well, let's see how this progresses. Itches. Uh, clues. Question. Boss, to find a way to the top floor. Please feel free to use me for interrogation practice. Talk to me like you would any other person of interest. As you explore, gather items, and write down clues in your notepad. With that, you can ask me the next unanswered question on your list. From there, you might need to show me items and clues that are somehow relevant to the questions. Eventually, you'll have enough questions. On... Okay. <clears throat> Ladies, perfume. Mention this clue won't give me... Um, secret office. Got a secret office on the top floor. A lot of blood, too. We need to get forensics on You think the murderer knew about the office? Could he have gotten in on his own? Hard to say. Could have been in he could have been invited in or knew how to gain access. Like this is turning into quite a case. It seems that way, yes. Nothing about it is gonna gonna be cut and dry. Try to be a bit more optimistic, Waffles. We've solved our fair share of tricky cases in the past. Don't think this is the time for optimism, Chief. There's a dead body five feet from where you're standing. Perhaps you're right. We can celebrate once we've solved the case. Something salty. What? Where is the witness, Chief? In front of her house, on the street. So... What are we waiting for? Let's go and ask her some questions. Give me a minute. I need to finish my milkshake first. Yes, that's definitely more important. Seriously. <laughs> That's the most important thing right now. Really can't think straight until I've had my milkshake. <laughs> Let me enjoy it slowly. You've had this entire time to drink milkshake while I was like going through the whole house, really? A wild omen son has appeared. Hello, sir. Welcome to the street. We are playing Inspector Waffle. Aha. And don't you go ruining it like you did last time. Talking about salty foods while I'm drinking a milkshake. Respect the shake, Waffles! Okay. Okay. Uh... I'm not sure what to ask. Cat's got my tongue. I- well, there was nothing else to ask! Um... Else to take. Okay, I mean. Oh, come on! Honey, I know you're big enough to handle a case on your own, but if you ever get stuck, you can always count me. I just want to know how to proceed! Drink your goddamn milkshake! Can I. Okay. Mouse tails, duck grease. What are you doing to me? Not this again! <laughs> Can't you see I'm enjoying my milkshake right now? Chief, I'm sharing a clue with you. I found a grocery list in the secret office. Uh, a boop! <gasps> Thank you for the boop. I got a boop. Oh, where are my boop? Where are my booper? There's my booper. I found my booper. This is great. Boop! Boop! <laughs> okay. Chief, I'm just sharing a clue with you. I found a grocery list in the secret office. Well, do you think I'm stupid? Of course not. <laughs> Just sharing the information. <laughs> Duck grease and milkshake. Bleh. 
It's hard to be a gourmet nowadays. You are disgusting. But you're still drinking your milkshake. You can't stop me this time! Hello. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh no, Luma the reporter is already on the scene. This cat is suspicious. He always knows more than he should. Always the first reporter to arrive at a crime scene. How does he do that? Maybe he's stalking. Evening, inspectors. Is it true that Fluffy has been murdered by a dog? Oh, did I say dog too loudly? Well, that that's uh, kind of assuming and uh, kind of speciesist, if you ask me. His tail is not attached to his body. There is definitely a good two pixels in between uh, his body and his tail. Anyway, that looks like Trump. <laughs> that looks like Trump cat. I don't like that. No, I don't. Well, we'll provide a statement as soon as we think it's necessary. Come on, Patches, give my readers something. We have no idea if the murderer was a dog. Unicorn, do wait, <laughs> a dog. Maybe it was a dragon or a unicorn. Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. But thanks anyway, but What? I didn't give you a tip. Chief Patches, you just told him, you know, Fluffy was murdered. We hadn't released that information yet. Er, well, er, let's keep that little slip of secret from the higher-ups. Got it, Lumo? Waffle, let's go. You, can s you see the cat over there? That's the witness. Maybe she can help us. I want to go back to Fluffy's house. I don't want to talk to him. Don't want to talk to... Trump cat, don't want to get in my car. Cookie is our current mayor. He's running for re-election. His pol political opponent is the famous billionaire Maple. Oh no! <laughs> is Maple Trump cat? Oh no! <laughs> See? Evil! Evil! <laughs> I'm not interested in politics, but I know Cookie is favored to win. Good. Unless, unless Cookie is the Trump cat. <laughs> Oh my- Hey yo, cat racism? <laughs> uh, okay, anyway. Fucking <laughs> funny. Well, we, we definitely know um, the political standings of the, the developers of this game. Love it! Alright, hi! Good evening, miss. I'm Inspector Wall. This is Chief Hatches. I need to ask you some questions. Nice to meet you, gentle cats. I'm sorry, I'm just- I'm upset to talk myself for what happened to my dear friend. Mm -hmm. sure. I'm sorry to disturb you. I know it's not the best time. Were you alone when you saw the body? Is your husband home? Okay, so she did see the body. They did not. They said she went up and knocked on the door. Maybe you don't have a husband. Patches, stop. Um, maybe it's better if I take the lead on this. No offense, boss. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. Fine, go right ahead. I'll just watch. Stare at breasts. Thanks. Let's start. Miss uh, Millie. Just Millie is fine. I have a couple of things I want to ask you, Millie. I'll help you as much as I can. You are a neighbor? I'm sure. Did you know the victim? Yes. He was a kind cat and a good neighbor. I never had any problems with it. We used to talk about flowers, cooking, traveling. So just casual conversation. Never anything serious. Just I don't chat her, Inspector. But you have something that proves otherwise. Um Saw a bottle of perfume in the bathroom. That could belong to anybody, Inspector. I mean true. Well, it's right. You need something more precise. Uh, oh, uh, oh, love letter with M, yeah. Unless M stands for maple, maple was a secret lover. Someone left this love letter in the house. Does it look familiar? To you? I hear a child screaming. Inspector, I'm not the only cat in. I'm not the only person in Cat Town whose name starts with M. The letter isn't mine. Mm hmm. Do you know if Fluffy was in a relationship? Like I said, it was always just idle band. So we still need to find out who this M is. Maple! <laughs> uh, Fluffy admirer. Okay, so let's say you have nothing to do with this letter. 
Who do you think M is? Well, if it was single, if I had to guess. To be honest, I never saw anybody else inside his house. You said you two talk about a lot of things. But not this. Buffy led a lonely life. I don't think he was interested in anything so. Well, I mean... He had a love letter, unless it was just an admirer from, like, way back in the day when he was a big, burly, wool ball jockhead. Oh. Watch it be Maple, oh my god, right? Okay. Um, interesting this movie. Uh, Polaroid? Or an clue or item for this one. What? Uh, oh, insult letter? Okay. That's it then? I've tried everything. Oh, what? We're asking that again? So how do you explain- Waffles! <laughs> that is... That's like, really weird to bring up over a nah. Perfume? A petit chaton parisien. I don't know what to talk about. Miss Millie, we need you to us. You need that bath. We need you to tell us the truth now. Inspector, I didn't write this letter. It's not my perfume, and I don't remember seeing anybody inside the house. Except you. You went inside the house. Fine. Yes, except me, Inspector. You're right. But Fluffy was my friend. I had no reason to kill him. What have you been doing for the last couple of hours? Nothing special. Just here in my home watching TV. You didn't want to go out? No, I'm an indoor cat. <laughs> you not a stray? What kind of cat enjoys a what that the kind of cat that enjoys a quiet night in? Even on warm, beautiful evenings. Yes, Inspector. To be honest with you, I prefer chilly. Um, I was gonna say, I, I hope that I don't have to ask that one again. Uh, okay. Lord? But you could ask if they know who that person on the Polaroid is. I think that's everything. So, am I done? I'm not sure what an ask cat's got my tongue. I mean, like... Okay. He doesn't... He's a good guy, but he doesn't help me a lot. Actually, he's the worst investigator I've ever met. Oh, damn. How did he become a chief? Even I couldn't solve that mystery. <laughs> damn. Um... Like a haunted house from here. Oh, jeez. I won't be surprised when they find someone was murdered there. Fuck. Okay. Do you think you might be missing something from the bust? I'm kind of... I'm kind of wondering that, too. Um... Spoiler alert. It wasn't the bust. I spent about 10 minutes trying to figure out what in the heck to do, so I will save you that headache and go ahead and skip this next part. I swear that was not there before. It's late, but it's not that cold, so why did the neighbor start a fire? Really? I guess they, they kept saying about warm night, chilly night, whatever. Okay. <sighs> okay. Chimney smoke! So why did you start a fire in your house? Um... Because it's really cold inside? Did you perhaps need to burn something important, Miss Millie? What are you implying? Would you mind if we took a look inside your house? Do you have probable cause connecting me to Fluffy's death? No, I don't. Do you have a warrant, Inspector? No, miss, but then I'm sorry, but I can't let you in. You're well informed of your rights, miss. Waffles, I'll need to get a warrant if I think it's necessary. Right now, we don't have proof that she's related to Fluffy's death. Thank you, Chief. Just patches is fine, miss. Please stop being a flirt. 
I have to say, that's an interesting way to handle an interrogation, Chief. Did you see the killer? Almost. From my window, I saw someone running through the garden. Oh, so you... <laughs> that is not how it was explained. Someone big. Probably not a cat. Any details you can recall? Oh. Now I can show you the hair. You tell me if they had white hair, the same color as this hair? No, it was darker than that, I think. Ah! There was more than one killer! Maybe. Maybe not. We can't assume that right now. Yeah, that hair, that hair could have been there from a different visitor, although Millie says that he never has visitors. Miss Millie, are you confident it wasn't a cat you saw? Yeah, and Millie doesn't have white hair either. I'm not sure. I didn't actually see his face, just his shadow. Big shadow. Everything happened so fast. I'm sorry, Inspector. No problem, miss. You know what they say. At night, all cats are gray. Nobody says that, Patches! Thank you for that, Chief. You're welcome, Walk. Okay, do you know if Fluffy had any enemies? Anybody who would want to hurt him? He owed a company which made a lot of money. Owned a company which made a lot of money, so I would assume so, yes. Any names you can give us? Someone who might have reason to want Fluffy. Really, sorry. We didn't talk about business. Insult letter. Do you know a cat named Erwin? I don't know him personally, but Fluffy mentioned him once. Erwin is his brother. They haven't talked to each other in years. Do you have any idea where I could find him? Oh, sorry. Fluffy didn't even know if his brother was dead or alive. Don't you- wait, I missed what she said. Some say he's dead, some say he's alive. It depends on your point of view. Oh. I don't get it. What does he look like? He's a black cat, that's all I know. Would Erwin have any reason to murder Fluffy? I can't say, Inspector. I never met him. That's all I need to know, miss. Thank you for your help. So long, Inspector. And thank you, Patches. You were a real gentle cat. No problems. <laughs> Alert. Oh, fuck, Patches. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe... I can't believe it was the fucking chimney smoke. Like, I swear I had my mouse over there, but... I must have missed it. What are you thinking, Waffles? I still think she's hiding something. So do I. You think her and Fluffy were... Truck. <laughs> They were truck. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, no, that one's that one's getting clipped. Look. Uh, <laughs> we're lovers. I can't tell. I'm disappointed. Usually, magic happens quickly with you. Maybe I'm getting old, Chief. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Have a good day. See you tomorrow, Chief. That was really good timing, Omen Sun. Maybe there. Truck. Honk! <laughs> Millie isn't as clean as she pretends to be. She knew the victim very well. How can I prove it? And Fluffy, why did he have a hidden office? Where is this Irwin? In this unknown cat on the floor? <laughs> a lot of things I can't make sense of right now. Do you know Maple can save your city with his skills as a great businessman? Well, Maple for mayor, and the cat, 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 cat town will be as successful as his company. Oh yeah, that's what they said about Trump. Politics, blah. Like, what about KFM? Vote for Mayor Cookie. He's the best for the city. Vote for Mayor Cookie and the happier. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. And there's another radio. Let's try another radio station. And we have Lumo, the reporter, live at the scene. Lumo, what can you tell tell us what you know? This cat is everywhere. Fluffy, the famous billionaire, was found dead at his home. Chief Patches confirmed that he has been murdered. Inspector Waffles will be leading the case. He is the cat who arrested Snowball after the rooftop incident. Thanks for bringing that up, Lomo. Interesting to hear, Lomo. I thought Inspector Waffles had retired after what happened. <laughs> okay, that's enough radio for tonight. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Chef's kiss. The Daily Roar. Let me hear your roar, tiger. Oh, shit, I didn't get to read it! Damn it! Ugh. 
Oh no. Waffles, did you fall asleep at your desk? Heck. Hello? What are you doing? Waffles! Waffles, wake up! I'm sleeping, Chief. That's the problem, Waffles. Don't you have an apartment? Fine here. Waffles, come to my office. That's an order. Someone important is here for you. Hey, okay, I'll be there. Give me five minutes. Two minutes. And clean yourself up. Don't keep our guests waiting. Damn. Okay. Portrait of Pepper. A witty criminal cat. He ruled an empire of illegal milk distilleries. We put an end to his mafia business and put him behind bars. Two weeks later, he disappeared. <laughs> Nobody knows how he did it. Connections, man, connections. Since then, we've had no hints as to his whereabouts. Hmm. He's good. Real good. Meatballs. Big muscles, but not too bright. I know him very well. We were in kitten gar kit kitten garten together. Younger, but he wasn't afraid of anything. Except his mom. <laughs> He's not a leader. Every time something bad happens in the city. Dot dot dot. Okay. Chance. Not a very smart dog. His name fits him perfectly. If there's a god for dogs, this guy was blessed like no one else. He's he's so famed for his luck that bad guys want him on their team for heists and burglaries. He's practically useless at any given task, but a real lucky charm. Oh, they're magically delicious. Interesting. I mean, he looks like... Oh, no, I need a white hair. No, black... No, black cat is the brother. Never mind. Dead plant. I did my best, but I came to the inevitable conclusion I'm not able to keep a plant alive. <laughs> if I can easily find any folder in my cabinet, could anyone accuse me of being messy? I don't think so. Hey, yeah, organized chaos, man. Organized chaos. Documents. Pile of books. On my chair is just a not-so-subtle way to say people are not welcome. My weapon is in the upper drawer, but I don't need it right now. Oh, I forgot about this flask of strong milk. Six-year-old casket strength. Oh, that's, that's awful. So literally, strong milk is spoiled milk. That's, that's disgusting. That's fun. Oh, okay. Uh, unfortunately, I don't drink anymore, at least not during work hours. It could be useful for later, depending on how the day goes. What? I I highly doubt you don't drink on the job anymore. Old frame out. Got a master's degree for Inspector University here in Cat Town. The day after a snowball case ended, I was so upset. Tore it off the wall and threw it. I don't know where it is now. Oh, Best thing about this office is the view. From here, the city seems like a great place to live. Down to the nitty gritty. Down to the underbelly. Here. Mm, cheese in a bottle. What? CTPD badge. The Cat Town Police Department logo. In the center, the legendary unknown inspector. They were the first to solve the case in this city. The kitten and the broken branch. I studied at university. An interesting case. Office. Downstairs. Can I go downstairs? Waffles, can you come to my office? Mm, I couldn't sneak past that one. Mm -hmm. Hello, Waffles. I'm glad to see you again. Oh, it's Cookie! Okay, good. He's not Trump Cat. Good. Good. Mayor Cookie, what a surprise. What brings you here? <laughs> he brought us croissants and they're so good! Annie. That's probably not the only reason, Chief. No, it's not. But please, have a croissant, Waffles. They're delicious. Magic. Just... Thank you, Mayor. I have to say, they look very tasty. A little surprised you took one. I thought you only liked waffles. <laughs> wait, wait, I have a. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna be using that button a lot during this game. I <laughs> hope the donut trophy has. I did. Ha! <laughs> Mayor Cookie, that was hilarious. 
First time I've heard that joke, Mayor. <laughs> Sorry for that, but I had to. Anyway, <laughs> let's be serious. I need to talk to you about Fluffy. This is a tragedy for me. I knew Fluffy personally since Kitten Garten. We were like brothers. Mother. Kitten mothers. Very sorry for your loss, Bear. I came here to say this. I want you to put all your efforts into finding out who's behind this. I'm telling you, it's Maple. If they were close and, you know, they're, they're competing for Mayor and, and he goes and, and kills one of his friends, you know. Huh. No more cats stuck up trees or behind glass doors. This is your only priority. Ow. Of course, Mayor. It's not a problem. You're in the middle of an election year, and I can't- Oh, we're in the middle of an election year, and I can't afford to have a killer roaming the streets. Especially killing my friends. Maple's already told everyone that I'm a coward. Cat towns and shambles and so on. This could ruin me for good. Such a liar. You can count on us, Mayor Cookie. Anything else? You're free to go. Thank you. Until next time, Mayor. Oh. Patches, I guess you know what you're doing with this cat. He's still the best inspector I've got. Most depressed inspector, I would say. Give him a chance, Mayor. I am. I know that Waffles is very talented. That's not the problem. He can't blow everything up like he did with the snowball case. Go through that again. Oh, delicious. Arson! He won't. Arson! Good. This is his last chance to stay on the team, Patches. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's that? I keep forgetting I can't move. It's literally just point and click. So I guess that's it. Plant. Uh, up there's... Mocha? Who put Mocha in here? Hey, Mocha, you in there? Who is it? It's Waffles. Oh, no. Not you again. Leave me alone. Nice to talk to you too, Mocha. You're just a hassle, Waffles. Why can't you be like your colleagues? What do you mean? I spent half my time filing out paperwork because of you. And not only warrants, no. I have to justify why you steal clues on crime scenes. Don't steal them. I just keep them with me to more quickly solve crimes. Have you ever heard of the word procedure, Waffles? Yeah, it's another way of saying wasting time. You, and you never clean up after yourself when you leave the lunchroom. I've got an entire department complaining about the mess you made. I did it again? Sometimes I forget when I'm in a rush. I'm really sorry. I'll be more careful next time, I promise. <laughs> do you- what do you want, Waffles? I had to give her a snotty voice. I had to. I really want to know what happened with the snowball case. I have a feeling we're gonna find out. Because everybody keeps talking about it. Mocha, you're right. I'm not the best call. You deserve to be surrounded by nice, polite, and organized policemen and poli or, uh, police cats and police dogs. You're a true asset, and everyone should be grateful for having you around. Hm. You could do better than that, Waffles. Compliments aren't enough? No. For starters, bring me a decent breakfast. Cinnamon coffee and almond croissant. Maybe then I'll see if I can help. Um, well, I have a croissant. I don't have coffee. Is croissant is a good start? Is it an almond croissant? No, just a regular one, but it's really tasty. I'm sorry, I prefer the ones with almonds. Serious? I don't even know that kind of croissant existed. You're in a desperate need of my help, right? Fine. Find you an almond croissant. Shouldn't be difficult for the best detective in town. Let me guess, he lost his sidekick on the snowball case and now he's depressed as heck. Sounds like it, yeah. Great tip, Mocha, very helpful. You're welcome, Waffles. So much fun! <laughs> that was the worst fake laugh I've ever done. Okay, uh, oh, that's the exit. Oh, I clicked off again. Nope. I went upstairs. Downstairs. Hey, Mayor, did you bring us some almond croissants by chance? I 
Can I have another one? I'm extra hungry today. Oh. Oh, so how you doing, pal? Morty. Bit hungover, but apart from that, I'm fine. Still sleeping here. Just... I think everybody already knows Wobbles. Are you busy? I'd like to talk to you about Fluffy's trip to the box. I'm half awake. Please don't start my day with bad puns. Oh, you're the first one who gets it, finally! Because Fluffy owned box furniture. Hee hee ha ha. Or maybe their brains are just empty boxes. <laughs> I'm gonna be using that a lot. So about Fluffy's death. Let's go to the morgue. Morty is the morgue guy. Ah! Is this Fluffy? Yes. Sorry, I didn't have to put him in a box. Are you done? Come on, that was a good one. They say artists are never appreciated in their time. Yes, I'm sure. Can you tell me anything about the killer? Ah, yes. I have come to the conclusion that our killer is very strong. No shit. No cat could throw something or someone this heavy through a window. You're confirming my suspicion that Fluffy was murdered, right? Do you see the bruises on his wrists? Yes. Guessing someone held him down with such force that Fluffy couldn't defend himself? Exactly. Fluffy wasn't young, but he was a big cat. Hard to move. He was tossed out like a trash bag. Impressive strength, really. So, if not a cat, must have been a dog, right? Possibly. Very big dog. Or... Or what? The deep wound on his left arm. Hypothetically, a dog could have caused that wound. If he was attacked by a wolf. I can't tell if he has a beard or it's just a mask. Also, he bald. Uh, I would. I think that's a mask, because org person. The buttons are gonna help me out when you. Wait, the buttons gonna help me out when you joke. <laughs> wolf. Morty, come on, you know wolves disappeared centuries ago. I know, I know, but I've never seen a dog wound like that. Cause a wound like that. I have no better explanation right now. I guess now I have to prove wolves don't exist still. Thanks for the help, Morty. No problem, Waffles. I wouldn't dismiss wolves just yet. Anything's possible, you know. Some things, sometimes you need to think see that coming, did you? So long, Morty. Refrigerator. Are you waiting for a new victim? Yes, unfortunately. Reports say a cat threw himself off a building. Ah, another nine lifer, I take it. That's what he wrote in his suicide note, at least. Nine lifer? Seems like there are more and more of these nine lifers turning up. Can't swing a dead cat in cat town without hitting one. Oh my god. I don't know if I like your humor or find it disturbing, Morty. Oh, that's really nice of you, Inspector. Or fluffy. Probably didn't expect to die like that. Probably not. Okie dokie! The silence was strong. <laughs> coffee machine! It's the worst coffee I've ever tasted. It's like someone was trying to poison us. I wouldn't have another drop of any liquid this machine spits out. But I'll take a cup with me. You never know. Could help with an interrogation. Or with cleaning my car's windshield. Good lord. Alright. Uh, no one's behind bars right now. Before I leave, I should show Pixel all the clues I got. Who is Pixel and where can I find them? Or I didn't see an office for Pixel. Oh. i go down the hall. Great. <clears throat> Empty office. Interrogation room. There's a second window in this room where you can see into the interrogation room. This isn't a real office, though. There's no Inspector NATO working. Obviously, Patches came up with the fake name, and yes, he thought it was hilarious. Inspector NATO. Wow! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Patches' sense of humor can be quite tiresome at times. No shit. There's also a pancakes office before. I don't want to talk. Pancakes and waffles, are you f- Hmm. 
You were right. You were very right. Mm hmm. Love interrogation room. I don't like being in the interrogation room when there's no one to interrogate. Not that I am superstitious. It just makes me anxious. Okay. Oh no. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Pixel. Hey, Pixel, how are you? I'm currently trying to optimize the main database design. The old relation module's not normalized. Somebody did a terrible job. I don't understand a single word of what you just said. Ah, uh, um, well, make it simple. If you want to query the database, simpler, please. I'm doing my best to make things faster. Thank you. Seems straightforward. Technology is not your strong suit, Waffles. It's my arch nemesis, really. I must admit I'm having fun giving these voices trinkets. Oh my god. Pixel enjoys collecting trinkets. They mean nothing to me because I don't understand what they refer Pixel is writing some computer code. I'd like to understand more about what he's doing, but learning that stuff can be so intimidating. Computers! Bored. I don't understand technical jargon. I'm not a- Looks like more- <laughs> Looks like Morse code, I think. Should I try to decipher it? Probably not. DNA machine. Told me the DNA machine is broken. Maybe I should find another way to fix it. Yeah, because we have a hair. That we have a hair to, to to do the thing with. Can't look in Pixel's drawers while he's here. Yeah, no, that'd be kind of weird. Definitely. Any clues? I'm going to need some help with Fluffy's case. Sure. You have anything to show me? Any unexpected objects? Found at his residence. Found this Polaroid on Fluffy's body. Mm -hmm. It's not that victim. No shit! Well, yes, I know that. Can you tell me who he is? No, I've never seen him. I... okay, yes. Can you maybe run this photo through one of your technology thingies? I don't have any facial recognition software waffles. Would sure love if I did. I already asked for one, but Patches didn't answer my emails. I doubt Patches understands what you're looking for, and I'm quite sure he doesn't know how to use his inbox. Probably the best way is to just ask him face to face. Oh, that's true. Sometimes I forget I talk IRL. I for Sometimes I forget to talk IRL. <laughs> oh, I can see that. Anyway, if you could help me find who this cat is, give me the Polaroid. I'll compare it with some other photos we have. One second. Here you go. A copy of the Polaroid. You can keep it. Pixel, how did you make a copy without moving your chair? Don't try to understand waffles. It's too technological for you. Okay! Um. Oh, I can't. Okay. Uh. Huh? Uh, love letter, grocery list, insult letter, hair? Oh, this hair in Fluffy's office. That's interesting. And I keep it. Of course. This could be a really good lead. You can use your DNA analyzer to tell me who the hair belongs to. Well, unfortunately, I can't use the DNA scanner. It was broken. Since when? I had no idea. Three days ago, someone was playing a playing with a ball in my office. Pixel, I know you don't want anyone in your office. You always close the door, even when you're gone for less than 30 seconds. I am sure, with zero doubt, that you are the one who broke it. Don't tell him, Patches. I won't. It's none of my business. And if you could help me find a replacement CPU for it, that would be awesome. Anything in the X8 line is perfect. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll totally track one down. Yeah, although I already forgot what you asked for. <laughs> okay, uh... All these I already have. Um, insult letter? Someone named Erwin sent a very nice letter to the victim. Interesting. Let me run a scan. Wait, you can scan that, but you can't scan the- oh, uh, well, face short. There are 30 cats named Erwin in Cat Town. A lot of Erwins. If it helps, he's Fluffy's brother. Unfortunately, the database doesn't know their relationship between cats. And what kind of police establishment are we running here? Come on. I told you this was poorly designed. Yeah, no shit. Well, fix it, Brainiac. What? You can't differentiate two cats from the same name? Do you ever- did you ever meet a cat with a last name Waffles? Hmm, fair point. Well, I'm stuck. Well, there is one option. But you're not gonna like it. 
don't say spotty. Spotty is an amazing sniffer of waffles. He can help you find where your Irwin lives. Come on, how can you put any value in his methods? They're prehistoric! He's good, Waffles. A real good dog. You should ask him for help. Or you can knock at 30, sec 30 doors all across the city. Your choice. Okay, I think Pixel's done everything he can for now. It's time to meet Spotty and ask for something I never thought I'd need. Okay, so I decoded the Morse code. I think they're not- Did you seriously? Did you really? 2102. Uh, thank you! Holy shit! Okay! <laughs> Damn, Bork! Oh wait, is that a sticky note? I'm not the sticky note on this cactus. Be careful. If you get too close, I could sting you. Who took the time to write this? Oh my god. Thank you, Bork. I appreciate that. Exposed brick wall. This building is falling apart. Should I be worried? Yeah, probably. There's... Um... Uh, where is Spotty? Okay, at least I can leave now. Oh, okay. Howard, you look like a raccoon. Know what I miss most about my city? Smoked sockeye salmon from Foxy Burger. The best place in the world. Imagine the taste. Flavor. I miss my home. Eh. I don't like fish. What? How is that possible? It smells real bad. Like cheese. What? <laughs> what about other seafood? It all stinks. Oh, okay then. So what do you like to eat? I like hot dogs. Ha! Ah, good ones, buddy. I didn't know you were so funny. But I really like hot dogs. Why is that funny? Because... You are a dog. Hot dogs like hot dogs. Sausages are good. I could revel in this awkward conversation for a very long time, but I need Spotty. He could help me with the case. He doesn't drive me crazy first. That's Howard. Hey, Spotty, how are you? Hello, Inspector Waffles. I'm fine. Not much to do right now. Let me introduce you to Howard. He's a detective from, let's say, from far away. Nice to meet you, Inspector Waffles. I've only heard good things about you. Nice to meet you too, Detective. Spotty, I need a paw. I've heard you're a pretty talented sniffer. Maybe you could help me out? A job? For me? Of course I could help! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Ball, ball, ball! Um, okay. Wow, thank you. And please calm down. I have I have here a letter written by someone named Erwin. Find where he lives. Of course! Might take a good sniff! <laughs> Yuck! No! <laughs> no, now I have to I have to I have to start talking in Goofy's voice. Yuck! <laughs> Smell dog fish! Terrible! Can I help? I have a good nose too. Sure, why not? The more the merrier. There are distinct hints of tomato sauce and grilled codfish. I got that too! I'm picking it up in this direction! This is gonna be... Well, it's gonna be a day. Freaking out, it's Howard. Wait, Howard what? What's the reference? Am I big dumb? I'm big dumb dumb. Very well. Very welcome, Inspector. Great seeing you. I'll be leaving today. Don't know if we'll meet again. Enjoy your time in Cat Town. Do my best. Spotty, let's move. And please contain your excitement a bit. I'll try. I promise. I'm just very happy to go on an adventure with you. Yeah, okay, follow me. Will we catch the criminal? Will Spotty learn to calm down? Will Waffles get his thronk milk? Find out on the next episode of Inspector Waffles.